Brave Bart, a story for traumatized and grieving children by Caroline H. Shepard. My name is Bart. I am a small black kitten who had something very bad, sad, and scary happen. Just like the scary and sad things that happen to you. Even though it has been very hard for me, I have learned a lot because of what happened. Let me tell you my story. After the very bad, sad, and scary thing happened, many things changed in my life, especially my feelings and how I acted. At first, I thought I was the only one who ever had something this bad happen to them. I also thought that my feelings were weird and stupid. My feelings sometimes scared me. I thought nobody could possibly feel the way I did. I had feelings that I did not want to tell anyone. I tried very hard to keep my feelings to myself, but even though I kept my feelings inside, I started to act differently. Before the very bad, sad, and scary thing happened, I walked with my head and tail held high, My coat was shiny and every piece of fur was in place. I took very good care of myself. But after the very bad, sad, and scary thing happened, my coat was dull and my fur looked messy. I just didn't care about taking baths or grooming myself anymore. Before it happened, I used to play all the time. I chased my tail, played with balls of yarn, climbed trees, and loved to run and jump from place to place. Before the bad, sad, and scary thing happened, I used to love to take a lot of cat naps. Like all cats, I love to sleep. But after it happened, I had very scary dreams and nightmares. Sometimes, I was even too afraid to fall asleep or to sleep in my bed, because I was afraid that I might have another very scary dream. And sometimes I thought it was my fault that I made it happen. I didn't feel like playing much after it happened. I also did not like to be away from my house. I wanted to stay very close to those who took care of me. I felt very nervous and frightened, and my stomach ached whenever I had to go anywhere, especially school. After the bad, sad, and scary thing happened, there were many times that I felt afraid. Sometimes I would hide under the bed when I was really scared. I would scrunch up into a little ball and stay there for hours. After it happened, I did not feel like eating because my stomach hurt. Sometimes I felt like I had a lump in my throat. I even turned down tuna fish, my favorite. The sound of the can opener even scared me sometimes. I was very jumpy and nervous. Lots of noises scared me. I wanted things to be the way they were before it happened. I wish that I could change things back with magic powers. But I couldn't. Some days were better than others, but whenever I remembered what happened, I felt bad all over again. I sometimes saw pictures of what happened in my head, and that would really make me feel sad and scared. Sometimes I heard sounds of what happened in my head, like at night when everything was quiet, or when I was trying to think about something else. It made me afraid that something terrible might happen again. When I tried to play with my friends, I became mad or angry very easily. I cried very easily, too. I I still liked my friends, but I had a very hard time playing the games we had always played before the bad, sad, and scary thing happened. Some of my friends started to call me names, like Baby Bart, because I cried a lot. They also called me Frady Cat because I stayed inside the house most of the time. That really hurt my feelings. So many things were different after the bad, sad, and scary thing happened to me. I thought that I was the only one who had those kind of feelings. 
I did not know what to do to feel better until one afternoon. When I was sitting alone on my back porch, I saw a huge shadow appear along the back fence of my yard. It looked like the shadow of a very large animal. I thought that it must be something very fierce and powerful to be that big. So I started to run back inside until I heard a small voice say, Wait, don't leave. I want to talk to you. I won't hurt you. I heard that something bad, sad, and scary happened to you. I'll help you feel better. Show me who I'm talking to, I yelled. Turn around. I'm right on the other side of your porch. I was afraid to look, but when I did, I was very surprised to see that it was not a huge and ferocious animal at all. It was just another cat. The shadow had fooled me because it made the cat look very, very big and scary. She told me her name was Helping Hannah. Some of the other cats in the neighborhood had asked her to help me. Helping Hannah said, I can help you feel better. I can't change what happened to you, but we can work together so that you can learn some ways to help yourself feel better. This is how I was helped. At first, I was afraid to talk to Helping Hannah. She asked me to tell my story by drawing pictures in the sand with my paw of what had happened. I was afraid my pictures wouldn't be any good, but she told me it didn't matter what they looked like. As I drew, Hannah asked me lots of questions, and she listened very carefully to everything I said. Helping Hannah told me that the bad, sad, and scary thing that happened was not my fault. She said, what happened to me is called a trauma. The trauma, she said, caused me to feel powerless, hopeless, and helpless. I felt powerless because I couldn't change what had happened to me. It was like not being able to run and jump like I used to be able to do. I didn't even feel strong anymore. I felt hopeless because I thought that things would never be the same again. I thought that tuna fish would never taste good again and that my family would never be the same. It made me feel really sad. I felt helpless because I couldn't stop the bad, sad, and scary thing from happening. I couldn't change the feelings that I was having. I had stomach aches and I felt scared most of the time. Helping Hannah told me that she knew other cats who had very bad, sad, and scary things happen to them. She said they felt like what happened to them was their fault, and they too had scary dreams, stomach aches, and scary feelings just like me. I learned that I was not alone. I learned that my feelings were not weird or stupid, and that there was nothing wrong with me for having those feelings. I found out that my feelings were all okay. I also learned that trauma won't go away all at once. You can't wave a magic wand and wish the feelings to go away. It is very important to tell someone your feelings and not to pretend that they are not there. It took time, but talking and drawing with Helping Hannah really helped me feel better. My time with Helping Hannah didn't make everything go back to the way it was before the bad, sad, and scary thing happened, but it did help for me to tell my story and to have someone listen to me. Helping Hannah and I came up with some things I can do on my own to help me feel better. I can talk to someone I trust, play with balls of yarn, sit on someone's lap, draw a picture, chase my tail, or I can climb a tree, go for a walk, run and jump. One thing that really helped me was when Helping Hannah told me that I was not a fraidy cat or a baby. She said, you have gone through something very, very difficult and you have survived. You are a survivor. You are very brave, Bart. Now, when I become really, really frightened, I think of the time Helping Hannah told me that I was brave and called me Brave Bart and I feel much better. I know that things will never be the same as before the trauma, but I know I can live with what did happen and that I am not alone. I am a survivor and my name 
is Brave Bart. <laughs>